Now you may be asking, why am I looking at a batch of pixelated dirt? Why is there a green square on the screen? What is this heads up display? What is the meaning of life? Why is my money or my wallet in your pocket? Well I can answer one of those, some of those questions. Welcome to Prison Architect. You design prisons. And why is there a tree in the truck? Just ignore that I accidentally called in the riot police which is why I'm at have my I've lost one hundred dollars but a game where you design prisons and you attempt to rehabilitate or just basically keep a batch of prisoners away from public territory so this is going to be my prison I'm going to okay so to start off I did all this planning because this is just a planning, a basic drawing without anything being built. Because it takes me a long time to plan these things. Because <laughs> I actually, um, we'll have a look at this. Starting out prison, and of course I had some other prisons which I didn't bother to save because this, because these just went down the gutter. I was trying to figure out the foundations things and leaving the holes and misplacing buildings and yeah. Forgotten Dreams is a pretty good one. It's a compound similar to because the previous prisons I built, whoops, were you know one big building which I then extended outwards through more rooms, but I kept on messing up the foundations, so I decided to go with an open air compound, basically a whole load of buildings surrounded by a wall by a wall, and it's worked out pretty good. So I'm going to. I'm going to talk you through all this because the workers are arriving and the riot police can get out of here because they're not needed. So the outer wall. This is going to be the warden's office. These are going to be the officers for the other members of administration: the um, our accountant, psychologist, foreman, and account. And uh, did I say another one? This is going to be the visitation centre near the entrance of course the families can get in and out quickly the main uh, utility section the infirmary or medical ward the morgue for the dead people the sto storage for the workers and a cleaning cupboard this is going to be the laundry section where the prisoners are employed to clean their own clothes and these are going to be the cell blocks ten prisoners in these three and in between them will be the showers this three by 11, 12. Another cell block, this one holds 12 because I don't want to leave an empty space behind here. This is going to be solitary. There we go. Doors here, doors here, 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 here. And just one block. Definition of solitary. The canteen, where they eat, and the kitchen, where the food is prepared. This is going to be the yard. It's going to be grassland with trees and they can relax during their free time and the workshop where they make me lots of money and I know what I have forgotten, I've forgotten the damn common room well you know what, I'll draw that in now I don't want, since we finally get to use this space it doesn't need to be that much perfect so now the only pl really empty space is going to be here and I could put the utilities here the power and the water and any other buildings that we need? Oh god. Right, so we're, we're four minutes in and I've just explained a load of things, so let's get started, shall we? First thing we need a nice concrete wall. Well, I'm also going to need to take a grant. Grants give you injections of cash and then a bunch of objectives. These two are the only ones where you're actually in the... These two, you get a load of money and a bunch of objectives on here, but you don't actually have to complete them. These two, you get a bunch of object. You get money up front, you complete the objectives, then you get another 10k for doing so. So, we're going to take the grant for a basic detention center. 40k in dollars. That'll be enough to get the basics running. 
and I apologise if the sound is off, but this game runs smoothly, but I've had to um, uh, make a few adjustments to the recording software to try and reduce the amount of motion blur that I get when zooming in and out. So yeah, a couple of might get a bit iffy at times. And I'm also going to hire a couple, few more workers. I can fire most of them once the job is done. Come on, people! And the frame rate, frame rate, oh, go away, right, Van. And the frame rate might get a little bit iffy at times like these when all of these materials are on screen. By the way, they're doing their job. They're building the perimeter wall, or the well, it's not. It's only a concrete wall because the perimeter wall is actually a thing. Very expensive, but it is very durable, and it goes deep underground, which is helpful in trying to slow down prisoners. Prisoners who are trying to build escape tunnels, and yes, they can do that with the latest update. For those of you who aren't aware, this game is still an alpha which means you know there might be a few issues here and there and it's being constantly updated I might as well also said about um, it also saves every so often which reminds me I'm going to, need to actually save this thing and name it you can't name it explicitly but I know what I'll call this Now, I want a capital S. The Slaughterhouse. Excellent. So, come on, where is it? What's happened? I didn't want you to load it. Sorry. There we are. It's only the basic like that. I just saved it though, so we don't have to. Yeah, I'm losing my train of thought here because that was a bit of a balls up. Here we are. We also want the warden to come in as quickly as possible. So we're going to lay the foundations for our buildings. And we want. Some doors. Staff doors. So that only the staff can get in here. Shut up! How do I get this right van to go away? Uh, emergency. Get more right police in. Will that get them to go away? No? Am I gonna have to... Oh, are there gonna be two now? Oh, my ears. That's gonna be irritating whenever I zoom in. Nah, we're just gonna call it a perimeter wall anyway. It's coming along quite nicely. It's also... Get a nice patch of grassland. These right vans are going to be the bane of my existence right now. Probably a little bit of a bug. I sent that when I accidentally hide. What? There is actually a tree in the road. When I sent the right, I sent the right guards on their way as soon as I hide them by accident, which means they walked off and just left the van there, and now it's down there. Criminal wall is almost done, is it? Wonderful. Wow, the sound. Ugh. Yeah, it's not the smoothest of things. Ugh. That's nasty. And we're going to have nice brick walls. Where are you? Inside the buildings.
We appear to have a slight problem in the sense that, well, you can actually see some of the tiles. And it's the, like, uh, discoloration of the floors. We are going to need an office. And of course, all rooms have basic needs or a checklist. They must be completed before they'll be um, actually considered an office. So what we need for offices are chairs, a desk, uh, those riot vans go away, and a filing cabinet. Once that's done we can hire our warden, grand overseer of our prison who can research various lovely things to help make the prison even better. And get rid of that now. Good to go! With that we now have access to bureaucracy and we can, uh, well, research things. So first we want finance, then security, and maintenance their mental health. Let's buy all those right off the bat and get working. And I suppose we might as well finish off the rest of the offi offices while we're here. Keep everything very you know, nice and organized. Fighting cabinet. Once the workers plop those down, they'll be considered. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at him. Wub 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 wub. We're also going to need to install utilities. Power is easy enough. You just plop in some cables near enough where the buildings are, and then they'll automatically be connected to the lights and. <sighs> go. Go away. <laughs> this time you you automatically get uh, one free power station and a water pump station and a capacitor when you first start out so once the workers get those installed I might as well lay down the rest of the foundations when I get these buildings as quick done as quickly as we can, I can always close off the prison. Oh yeah, I can always close off the prison before the prisoners arrive if we're not ready. And I don't want to, you know, build the rest of these cells until we're actually taking in prisoners because. Ah, sorry. This is an alpha, so I think maybe frame rate problems will cause some problems. And we want staff only on storage and the cleaning cupboard because. Inmates can steal things from there. And of course we want jail doors for the cells. Don't want the prisoners leaving now, do we? Get that to be considered a proper building. And now we also need... The workers have got plenty to do. Right, install the capacitors first. We want full power on this thing. Once the buildings are done. We'll start making preparations to get the inmates in.